The World Trade Center Mexico City, also still commonly called by its former name, Hotel de México, is a building complex located in wealthy neighborhood Colonia Nápoles in central Mexico City, Mexico. Its most famous and recognizable feature is the 52-story, 207 meters, 670 feet high Torre WTC, the biggest building in constructed area, the third tallest building in Mexico City, including antenna or fourth when measured by its 191 meters, 587 feet roof height. When talking about the World Trade Center Mexico, one usually is referring to the uniquely shaped tower. The complex also includes a convention center, cultural center, parking facilities, a multi-screen cinema, a revolving 45th floor luxury restaurant, and shopping center with Sears as an anchor tenant. It will also include a 22-floor hotel, which is currently under construction. Located on Avenida de los Insurgentes, the complex is served by the Polyforum station of the Metrobus bus rapid transit system, located a few meters away. The station is named after the Polyforum Cultural Siqueiros, a part of the WTC complex. History The WTC México began its existence as the Hotel de México, a building and complex that never really performed their intended functions. Construction of the Hotel de México took place in a lot called Parque de la Lama located in Mexico City, Naples neighborhood, Spanish Colonia Naples. The lot was set aside by real estate businessperson José Geronimo de la Lama in 1947. However, by 1966, when the project was started, the owner and financial sponsor was Manuel Suore y Suore. The Hotel de México project included, a hotel building as well as a cultural center housing the Polyforum Cultural Siqueiros and several other facilities aimed at making the complex a hub for business, culture, tourism, and architecture. Plans for the complex were presented at the 13th International Architecture Contest in Munich. Stated to be ready for the 1968 Olympics, the project ran over schedule and over budget and although the main tower was completed in 1972, it never really functioned as a hotel, and, due to political and economical reasons, the tower as well as the rest of the complex were left in an unfinished state, save for the polyforum. In the mid-1980s, a project was started to turn the Hotel de México complex into an international business center. Mr. Suore backed the idea and, although he died in 1988, the remodeling began with partial public funding in 1992. In 1995, the complex, now known as World Trade Center Mexico, opened its doors with the tower now remodeled as an office building, as well as a convention center. Floors 40 and 41 house TV studios for Corporation de Noticias e Información, which operated XHTVM Canal 40. On May 19, 2005, these floors were evacuated after the beginning of a strike at CNI. 
The facilities have remained untouched due to the legal cases that have followed CNI since 2005. The WTC also houses the transmission facilities for XHFO FM. Most recently, the World Trade Center added a second theater, the 3,000 seat Pepsi Center, which was completed in 2012. It is used primarily for concerts and stage shows. Topic Intelligent Building WTC Tower elevators have a seismic detector that detects any movement of Earth and therefore automatically stops the elevator at the nearest stop to allow passengers to get off. It is considered an intelligent building, because the light system is controlled by a system called B3, like that of Torre Mare, Reformer 222 Financial Center, Avantel Reform Building, Residential Forest 1, Forest 2 Residential, Tower the Pony, HSBC Tower, Panorama Santa Fe, Santa Fe City Tower Amsterdam, Santa Fe Pads, St. Regis Hotel and Residences, Tower Hills. WTC Tower is managed by an intelligent system that controls all the facilities and equipment harmoniously and efficiently to protect human life of the tenants. In this system are integrated systems, electrical, hydro-sanitary, elevator and fire protection and has the ability to control the lighting of the building. It also has automatic elevators, it means they are smart and are always on the floors of more influx. The building has an automatic air handler to supply at each level. The building has the following systems, system generation and distribution of chilled water energy saver. System variable air volume units air handling products and preparations of high speed at every level of office. Extraction system general sanitary office at every level. Mechanical ventilation system, air in parking, Extraction System Mechanics Junk Room <laughs>